Hey guys, righto, so we are back. Now, it is breeding season. Breeding season means we've got a lot of reptiles uh, mating and all that kind of stuff, as well as they're gonna start laying eggs, and we need to get an incubator sorted. There's heaps of different styles of incubators you can buy. You can buy like the little wine fridge type ones. They work really, really well, but they generally come in quite expensive. Um, there's a few brands that'll do them as well. You've got like a converted sort of one, so you can get your own little wine fridge and you can put heat cord, heat mats, whatever you want to do as a heating source, and then you hook that up to a thermostat, and then that'll just run with a fan and it'll just circulate all that stuff for you as well. You can get a few other types of incubators as well. Um, there's like a foam box one that's commercially made, which is a little bit cheaper, and then there's the DIY foam box, right? So that's what I'm gonna take you guys through today on how to build them. They're really, really good, they come in super cheap, and I find they're a little bit more reliable than the commercially made ones, which tend to overheat quite easily. And then obviously if you exit you're overheating, they're either gonna come out deformed or they're gonna die in the eggs, which is something that you don't want, especially when you've spent all year feeding, cleaning, and looking after your reptiles, for then that little reward at the end to be nothing, all right? So what I've done for this one, I've been a bit of a brand snob for this one. I've gone with the microclimate brand stuff. Um, I really do like it. It's very, very good. It's reliable and it's hardy, the um, equipment itself. Um, so for the build, we're gonna need a microclimate mini stat 100. I've gone for this heat mat here. It's really, really good and it fits perfectly. Um, there are another way you can do it, which I will tell you guys, um, and I'll show you how to do that, and that's with the URS heat cord. You can use other heat cords if you like, I just find that the URS is a lot better. Uh, and then obviously we've got a thermometer, again, a URS brand snob. So lastly, you're obviously gonna need your little tray for your eggs to go in. So that is about all you need, as well as some sticky tape or some aluminium tape, okay? so. Foam box, esky, super easy to get. Just go to your local produce place, they'll probably throw one at you for free. You don't need to go and buy one from anywhere else. Inside, we've put down our heat mat, okay? So the heat mat, if you have a look, it's going from one end over here. We've laid it all the way along without creasing it and it comes up the other side. I've made a little bit of a cutout here just so that it fits in nicely and then the little clothes over the top. I haven't gone much deeper than this lip here and that's so that we've got that air tightness so we don't lose any of our heat. Over our heat mat, I've got some Chinese containers. Now what the Chinese containers do is when we half fill them with water, it adds the humidity inside this uh, incubator itself, but it increases the element size of our heat mat. So instead of our heat mat being an element this big, our heat mat is now this big because of the water volume. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a lot less air heat fluctuation. So instead of having our bell curve going like this with the heat mat, with the water, it's just gonna be this really nice, soft, even one. All right, so it works brilliant. Um, over that, then we're just gonna put our trays. So once we get our trays, you can put any of your perlite, your vermiculite, uh, you can do water crystals if you really wanted to, or just put a tiny little bit of water in there. That is then gonna sit on top like that, and then the lid's gonna go over the top. Incubator for the thermostat to go in. I like just putting a little hole in here. Using a pencil is pretty good, um, and if you just kind of wiggle it through, it makes a nice little hole. You can put your probe through there, and then our probe's gonna sit in the middle um, of the incubator itself. So then that way, that whole element is then gonna run off our nice even middle ground spot there. All right, that's our lid, goes on the box. Our thermometer, we're gonna just put a tiny little hole here. Again, you can just get the head of it and just push it through. The URS one's got a nice big um, heavy fat head on it so that they go through quite nicely. And we're just gonna dangle that halfway, roughly where our eggs are gonna be sitting and then that's just gonna give us a second reading so that we can look at that, rather than have to try and muck around and make sure that the thermostat is working. Righto guys, so with the heat cord, right, so the URS heat cord, it's kind of the same way that you would do the heat mat. The only difference is we've got to make a bit of a zigzag throughout the bottom of it. So your box, it'll look something like this, or your heat cord back and forth, 
we just put a little hole on the outside and then we just feed the whole thing through. The URS cables, they've got like a working circle. So once you get past that circle, it's basically where the uh, heat is gonna start from the heat cord all the way through. Once that's all down and it's sticky tape, we either use the aluminium flashing tape or you can use sticky tape if you want. I just find that when sticky tape gets a bit of heat in it, it starts to lift up. So you just gotta make sure you put a good coating of that down if you're gonna use sticky tape. But the aluminium flashing tape works way better. You're still gonna put on top your uh, egg, your, sorry, your uh, Chinese containers with half full of water because it's the exact same principle as the heat mat itself. So guys, that is the down and dirty on how to make a homemade incubator to get you out of uh, trouble. They come in roughly at around about 100 bucks, usually a little bit less depending on how you go around building it, but it is easy to do and it works really, really well. So if you wanna learn more or to get in contact with us about building one, uh, give us a call, send us a PM or come into the shop and we will help you out with everything um, to do all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching uh, and as always, I'll see you soon.